Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Have you ever been questioning your introversion? Or have you been bordering between introversion and extroversion, unsure where you stand? Introverts make up around 25% to 40% of the world's population. With a decent chunk of the world being introverted, there's a high chance you might be one as well. So here are seven signs you're actually an introvert. Number one, you prefer one-on-one -on -one conversation. Do you like having a deep conversation with one close friend over interacting with a group of people? For introverts, it's always quality over quantity. They'd much rather spend their time in the company of one or two close friends instead of spreading themselves too thin with strangers. Idle chatter in a large group does not interest introverts. It might even feel dishonest to some of them, but a deep conversation with their best friend at 2 a.m. might be more suited to an introvert's taste. Number two, you like weekends with no plans. Would you rather have a restful weekend over a high energy one? Weekends are a great time for introverts to unplug and unwind, especially those with energy draining jobs or days at school that require constant interaction. While it's healthy to catch up with your friends every once in a while, you're not at all weird for silently celebrating a canceled plan or relishing in a schedule free day. Watching Netflix or meditating in your PJs sounds like a great plan for any introvert. Number three, you prefer working alone over working with others. Do you dislike group work or prefer working independently instead? Introverts are drawn to jobs that involve independence. Instead of worrying about dealing with other people, they'd much prefer to focus their minds on their duties. Writing, accounting, computer programming, or graphic design are great jobs for introverts since they don't require a whole lot of small talk. On the other hand, working as a host or a retail staff may not mix well with the nature of most introverts. Number four. You go to parties, but not to meet people. At parties, are you someone who'd rather stick by a close friend instead of meeting new people? Even if you're an introvert, you do enjoy some degree of socialization every now and then. Many introverts don't mind going to parties as long as a close friend is around to accompany them. Introverts and extroverts see parties in a fundamentally different way, however. An introvert will consider going to a party to spend quality time with a friend while an extrovert would consider a party a good time to talk to new and interesting people. Number five, your hobbies are solitary. Do you enjoy drawing, running, video games, reading, and other things that don't require much social interaction? Just like working, an introvert enjoys low distraction activities, a few hours absorbed in a book, a meditative stroll around the park, or watching a great TV show are some of the things that introverts love to do. If a good couple of hours all to yourself sounds like a good time rather than an absolute bore, you may be an introvert. Number six, you spend a lot of time when making a decision. Would you consider yourself an indecisive person? An introvert may constantly have back and forth conversations with their internal monologue. Introverts tend to take a long time to process information before diving into something, whether it's picking a college course or ordering food off a menu. While this trait allows them to see all angles and problems, it could also lead them to fail to make a decision and have it snatched away. And number seven, you can get extremely passionate about something. Do you sometimes get worked up about a topic that you're passionate about? Introverts may appear reserved and shy at first, but once they get going, they can talk your ears off. Introverts tend to drown themselves in their hobbies and interests. And since most of these interests are solitary in nature, an introvert may not have a platform to express their passion about it if no one else shows their interest. But if you give them a chance, their enthusiasm can surprise any unsuspecting person. So do you relate to any of these signs we've mentioned above? If you do, consider yourself an introvert or someone with the tendencies of introverts. Did you find this video fun or insightful? Tell us in the comments below. Please like and share it with friends that might find value in this video too. Make sure to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more content. All the references used are added in the description box below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.